I think I've got like one person with me. Oh, Katie's joined me. I'm not alone anymore. Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm not on my own anymore. Oh, I can tap to see who's watching. I can be nosy. Anybody else coming? Anybody? This one's a special one for my pooch, Ruby, which I've managed to get in the dining room with me. My cat was tormenting him and wouldn't let him in. She's put him in his place. There's only two people. There's you and me, only one. Otherwise it's just me and you, Katie. We don't just review beauty boxes, we review lots of other boxes as well. The Paulson box from the animal box. Anyone else? It's really warm in here. I left my fire on and didn't realise. See, I, I, when it comes up box session, I never know who it is. Is it Mel? I'm here. So am I. Hello. Okay, I'm going to start and then anybody else that comes along afterwards um, can watch it again later. So this time um, I am unboxing a box of a difference because this one is not for me. It is for my dog called Rupert. It's Mel. Hi, Mel. <laughs> Um, this one is for Rupert and you can um, pick different size boxes related to um, the different sizes of dog or cat you've got. They don't just do boxes for dogs, they do them for cats as well. Um, this is from Animal Box and the one for dogs is called Pawson Box and the one for cats is called Perfect Box, which... My cat is perfect, she's gorgeous, she's 15, so she's an old lady. She's actually, I think in human years, she's older than my mum. Hmm. So, um, what I'm going to say is, the subscription box, you can pay monthly, which is £19.90 a month, and I believe it's a roll-in subscription, so you would pay each month. Three months is £56.70, I think that's a prepay. I've had a bit of a look around on the website, and by all accounts it is prepay. Uh, six months is £107.40, again, six months prepay, and 12 months is £190.80, again prepay. Um, the one thing that I have noticed, yeah, they do do cats, yeah. I think next time I'll get one for the cat. Um, but the one thing that I have noticed, they do um, four different boxes. One is tiny, which is for under five kilos. Small is between 5 and 10 kilos. Medium is between 10 and 25 kilos, which I think Rupert will come under. And large is over 25 kilos. Now, it doesn't matter which size box that you pick, it's the same price. So you don't get penalised for having a larger dog. You're not going to have to pay more money just because you've got a larger dog or a smaller dog. It's, it's the same price across the board, which I think is quite good. So I... I'm going to unbox because I'm excited to see what he's got. I've managed to get the cat out of the dining room so that she won't antagonise him because I always thought having a dog, the cat would be scared and it's the opposite way around. He won't even go out to the toilet if the cat is sat in the hallway. Um, we have to move her out of the way, which I thought a dog would scare a cat, but it's the opposite way around. Oh! Ooh. Okay. Actually, <laughs> it's not a doggy box I've got, ladies. It's a pussy cat box. Oh, the cat is going to absolutely love this. This is amazing. Right, I need to show you what's in it first. Okay, I'm going to hold the box up. We nearly have the same sweater on, do we? Seriously, this this is this. this really nice and comfy and loose I like it right the box 
not a doggy box. It's a fussy cat box. I've been winding the dog up thinking he's going to get something and he's not. So, a box full of treats. The cat is going to love it. You can hear it jingling. She'll love it. I'm going to hold up the, um, the little notes that come with it. It says purr notes. Yeah, they sent the cat box. It's fine. The dog's got loads of toys, so the cat's going to love this because normally, you know, little cat toys, the dog will try and run away with them as well or he'll try and bat the ball underneath the sofa. This picture on here is what Jess looked like when she was a little kitten. I've had her since she was three months old and she has moved house with us. She's seen all three children brought into the house as babies and grown up with them. So it'll be a sad day when she does go, but for now, she's gonna get lots and lots of treats. So there's a lot of information in this. It's uh, all to do with um, draw, there's some drawings. Did you know the average body temperature of a cat is 38 and a half degrees? I didn't know that, but she must get roasting because she likes to sit in between the crook of your, you know, the back of your knee. She loves sitting there, she gets really, really warm. Anyway, is my cat the boss? Yes, she is. She meows, she pushes the door open, she's very bossy. It gives you information in here as well about if you find a stray cat, what you should do. Because there are unfortunately lots of stray cats out there that do need a home. Instead of getting a kitten, you know, sometimes it's good to go and um, visit sanctuaries because there are lots and lots of kittens there. The arrival of a new baby in the family. Well, we've been there and we've done that. We're not going to do that anymore. The sacred cat of Burma. Oh, Burmese bunny cat. Gorgeous. Right. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. So, goodies in the box. We have got one of the cat toys. She loves things like this. It jingles. Yes, she's gonna love this. The dog's sulking, he's laid on the floor here. <laughs> she's gonna love that. She loves anything that's jingly. You dangle it in front of her and she goes crazy. Feline Happy Salmon Crunchy and Creamy Bites. So they are pretty cat treats. Crunchy on the outside, creamy on the inside, salmon flavoured. I'm sure she will enjoy those later. We rescued Lilith, she was a stray. Yeah, stray cats, they are the most loving as well. They're, they're very faithful, definitely. I love Jess. She was, um, she was in a pet shop when I found her and she was in a cage with so many cats, there wasn't enough room for them all and I just remember scaling up the cage all the way to the top and I looked at my mum and I said, can I have her? And I think my dad was expecting my mum to say no and she said yes and the next day we took her home and she's been with us ever since. So, cat treats, she's going to love them. Okay, next. Oh, something sparkly and fluffy. Did you miss anything? Katie, yeah, the box isn't for Rupert, it's not a dog box, it's a putty cat box instead. So she's got some more cat toys. I'm just gonna take these out. She's gonna love these. I can see many adventures underneath the sofa getting these out. Look, look, little spangly balls that she can bat around the carpet. I'm gonna have to keep these away from the dog. She will love these. She likes anything like this. Even if you drop a pen lid on the floor, she'll sit there and she'll bat it. And spiders, she's got a thing about spiders. She doesn't kill them. Michelle's cats will be jealous. Yeah, they're gorgeous. <laughs> I like them. Spiders, yeah, she, she plays with them. She'll bat them around the room and she'll terrorise them and not kill them. And she, then she just lets them go and we never find them. Ooh. Okay, so we've got some chicken sticks, real chicken meat. Low fat, nom nom, not for me obviously, for the cat, although the dog will probably try and eat some as well. Oh, let me just turn this off, something just popped up. I want them, I need a cat. My husband would probably give you our cat because he's more of a dog person than a cat person, but unfortunately I had the cat before I met him, so he was told that he will go before the cat goes. So, cat sticks, chicken flavoured. She will like them, definitely. Oh, I'm going to save that one for last. Paw care. So she's got one of these. This is 
a paw care stick with valuable natural oils. So it protects your pet's paws and pads and keeps the skin subtle with vitamins and oils and a preventative effect for calluses. So, yeah, because I was reading somewhere about um, cats and dogs' paws, the pads of their paws, that is where they're most sensitive, so they really don't like being touched on the on the pads, on the paws, which it's taken a long, long time for me to be able to pick Jess up. She's she's always been quite funny about being picked up and she she'd normally stick her claws in you. But she's as she's got older, she's got a little bit more tamer. The glittery balls, I mean, not the cat food. <laughs> I can send you some cat treats through if you want, Katie, when I send you your unicorn bits. I don't mind. I'll shove a, a pack of cat treats in there for you. <laughs> okay, so the last one. I've saved this till last because this looks really fun. Okay, I should have brought some scissors with me so I could open this out. This cat toy, okay, I believe... I need to undo this. I'm going to have to undo this. I should have brought some scissors through with me, really. <laughs> She's going to love this. It springs up. Okay, so I'll cut this, this little bit of um, coil off later on. I can't remember what to call it, to be honest. But it sits down on the floor like this. And it's got a fluffy bit on the top. And it boings around. She's going to love this. I'm gonna, I should have brought Jess in so you could have seen her. She's, she's tamer now, I can pick her up, but she's gonna love this. This is actually a really good box. When you consider that if you get it on a monthly basis, you're paying £19.90. If you was to go into, I'm not gonna name any pet stores, but if you was to go into some of the high street ones, this alone, you would probably be looking at about £20 for something like this because it is really well made as well it's not it's not one of the cheaper ones definitely not um and then when you add up the rest of i mean she's got two two snacks she's got the salmon snacks and she's got the chicken sticks as well and she's got this she's got two other toys as well and then she's also got the poor care this box is definitely worth more than 19 pounds 90 definitely so I think she's going to be really happy with this. I like this myself. She's As she's got older, obviously, because she's 15, she's not as playful as what she used to be. So I think giving her things... You can't show Lily this. I think giving her things like this... It's a fluffy Christmas tree. Yeah. No, no, I'm not going to put it on my head because it looks like one of those hats that you can wear as well. I'm not going to do it. Um, definitely, as she's getting older, she needs a bit bit more stimulation otherwise she will just lay on the floor underneath the fire or she will just lay on the back of the sofa constantly or on the window ledge and she's not as nimble as she used to be as well we've had times where she's nearly fallen off the window ledge do it no I'm not doing it it's peer pressure I'm not doing it <laughs> but no this is a really good box definitely I'll um I'm gonna see if I can try and get the cat into um take one for the team it's peer pressure that is i'm going to try and see if i can get um jesse in and what i'll do is if she'll sit still i can take a photograph of her with all this you know you wanna once once only quickly there we go <laughs> i've done it that's it now okay so as i said uh it, you can get it on a monthly basis 19 pounds 90 and um three six or twelve months prepaid 56 70 for three months 107 pounds 40 for six months and 190 pounds 80 for 12 months i am quoting for the dog because i i assumed that it was the dog box so i'm just going to double check those prices while i'm talking to you now because i don't want to give you the wrong information um, so I'm going to go on Senior, still the same price, exactly the same price. So again, monthly or 3, 6 and 12, exactly the same price as I've just quoted for um, the, the dog box. You can stop laughing, Katie, because I'm going to make you wear your unicorn things and everything next time you do an unboxing. 
because for anybody that's watching I went into Norwich the other day and found some unicorn headband with the horn on it and I'm going to make Katie wear them next time she unboxes seems as I took one for the team this time so overall a really really good box and I think Jess is really going to like it and I also like the fact that you get a little booklet as well okay so it's not just basic treats and toys in a box there is some information on there as well and there's also on the back some portraits of some of the puppy cats so definitely definitely that's not a punishment yeah okay well i'm gonna have to come up with a different punishment for katie then because obviously she likes wearing the unicorn horn i'll find something else i'll, I'll definitely think of something else so is there any questions before i go i don't want to ramble too much Katie's ordered fairy wings and a wand. I can believe that. She would be in her element if she had that glittery cosmic highlighter from my last unboxing as well. I'm pretty much sure. Um, I'd like to say a very big thank you to Animal Box for sending this over for us to review because this is lovely. And a very big thank you from Jess because that's what my pussycat's name is, Jess. So I will be forwarding a photograph of Jess so that Mel can put it up with a review as well because um, I think it's important that we put an animal to the name and Mel's eating more bacon so right, we've got bacon sandwiches for breakfast in the morning right I'm going to sign off and say bye thank you for watching and thank you to Perfect Box for sending this through for Jessie it's lovely thank you bye